Hey guys, I'm here doing a video of me cooking. Here's the stuff here. And then here's the meat cooking, the chicken. And then fresh broccoli cut up. I cut it up, cleaned it, now it's cooking. And then the water's getting warm for the pasta that I'm gonna make. My family really loves this pasta, so I'm gonna make that with that. So I will show you when it's almost done, and that would be for my refried beans. Mmm, can't wait. Yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> okay, guys, I cut the onion, the cilantro, the green bell pepper, and the jalapeno peppers, and then tomato. I didn't have uh, fresh uh, garlic. I thought I did, but I didn't, so we're going to use powdered garlic when I'm ready to put everything together. So you cut up and make sure you wash your vegetables before you cut them up. Just saying. <laughs> and then this is still cooking. Once it gets dried, I'll put a little bit of oil and fry it. And the beans are cooking. The cheese is melting. And then the broccoli is almost done. And then the pasta is getting there. So once this pasta is done, I will drain it and then add these packets. There's two. And this pasta is so good, like I said. My family loves it. So, almost, almost, almost yummy time. No, dinner time's 4.30 or 5. See you in a bit. Mix it all together. And if you want, you could add more cheese in it if you like. I add more cheese in mine because my family and I love love cheese a lot. <laughs> yep, just stir it and it's all mixed. And that is all done. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. My daughter Kimberly, she loves broccoli. It's her favorite. She likes it like it was candy. <laughs> That's how much she likes it. it looks so good. Oh, sorry guys, it's bogging up. Cheese is all in there. See the cheese? Oh, so good. I love refried beans. Refried beans are the best. Can't have a meal without the beans in the salsa. <laughs> and this is coming along. See, it's drying. Once it dries, then I will add this stuff into there with some oil and mix it. Okay, guys, it's sizzling, so that means it's ready. So, what I do, I move all the chicken to the side. That. And then grab some vegetable oil. Pour it on there. It depends on how much oil you like. I don't like very much. I like it to cook in its own juices. Just to put a little oil so that it can fry the vegetables. Hard to do it one-handed. <laughs> I always have, I shouldn't always because I don't have it today, but I usually have fresh garlic. That's what I love to cook with. I love, love garlic. But I guess I didn't buy any when I went grocery shopping. So there you go. That's why it's always good to have uh, the garlic salt. So it comes in handy at times, especially kind of times. <laughs> right? Fresh garlic. And then the next thing that you do is um, the bell peppers because they're hard and it takes longer for it to um, fry. So you put those in next. And then also the jalapenos. And the jalapenos, I only put one because I don't like spicy. My husband does, but if I make it spicy, then I can't have it, nor my daughter. I just like it to give it some taste of spice. And my husband likes it super, super spicy. So I make them a, a salsa separate, or we have like tapatio or el pato, stuff like that. 
for him. So, yeah. So, I can start mixing it. so good guys <laughs> can't wait for my husband to get home <laughs> we can have our din din and then I will add the tomato <laughs> el tomate <laughs> right, there it goes and tomato make it colorful and yummy it goes. okay mm -hmm. mix it Put some more garlic salt in there, as much as you like, it's at your taste, and then some salt. And the salt is the way you want it, at your taste, but I don't like too much salt, so I don't put too much. Mix it, mix it, mix it. That fries in its own juices. And then, give me a minute here, let me turn this on. Then, the last thing that I do is, I love, love cilantro, as you can see. <laughs> There's people that don't like cilantro, but I do. I love cilantro. I love a lot of cilantro on my dishes. And I love, by the way, I love, love to cook. I'll start making more videos of cooking. You know, I get so busy and I forget, oh, I could have made a YouTube video. <laughs> but I'm making it now. So. There you go. Alrighty. So, that's it. And then I like to add, but you don't have to, I like to add oregano. So I just put some, as much as you want. I like a lot of mine. So... I just pour, 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 pour. <laughs> there you go. So, and then I just cover it up with foil paper. That's how I do it. Old school. That's old school. My grandma and my mama did that. <laughs> That's where I learned it from. Then go back to this. And then, like I told you, you can add some more cheese if you like. We add cheese because I love cheese. My husband loves cheese and Kimberly loves cheese. And then you just mix it. Just mix it, mix it in there. And it comes out more cheesy and more yummy. Not that it's not yummy without it, but when you add more cheese in it, it tastes even better. If you had a shallow setting. <laughs> and let it cook there for a minute. Start to melt, cover that up. And that is pretty much done. Dang, that was good. And then my beans are over here. So there you guys go. It's done. Doesn't it look yummy? Chicken fajita. It's bomb. Very, very, very yummy. And the pasta as well. So cheesy and so yummy. Can't wait to eat it. It's so the cheese this is what my daughter likes she loves cheese <laughs> hi guys this is the finished dinner doesn't it look so good let me taste it mmm so so good with the peppers sorry guys the peppers have that little crunch still. I love it. It's so good. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like these kind of videos, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope you would. And if you could please share my channel, I so appreciate it. And I hope you have a blessed, blessed day. Bye.